what, what, what's the air races? <laughs> what's the big, what's the big fuss about the air races? One of the things that's really cool about the air races is they're all the interesting and different kinds of airplanes you can come see and talk to the pilots who, who are flying them, but also the airplanes that are, are not flying, they're just here um, on display. Check that out. Of the six airplanes my parents went through in their four-year marriage, a T-6 was apparently the largest of the bunch. I mean, come on, that's cool. Admit it. The airplanes that are in the race, in the actual races, are interesting for a couple extra reasons. Of course, they're, um, you know, really the fastest airplanes. That's Miss America. Um, and also, they have been modified in a bunch of really interesting ways. And that's part of what uh, the competition is really about. So we're at day two of the qualifying races here. So um, yesterday on Monday, on day one, um, we had the big boys show up to qualify um, for the big race, which is on Sunday. So during the qualifying laps, they're just doing two um, or maybe three laps, depending on the class, I think, and a couple other things, to try and get that ranking time. But they're going around the same course that's behind me, and I'll show it to you later in the week if I can, uh, that they will actually do the races, the, the real races, the real races. I mean, it's all real, right? I mean. Yeah, but anyway, so they show up and they get either two or three laps to make a qualifying time. No flag, he's got to go again. So it determines what order they get to start in the races for the rest of the week. So, uh, you know, pole position is a really big deal, just like in any other race. And in order to get that pole position place, you have to qualify on Monday and you have to have the fastest time on Monday. So if you qualify today, um, at least for the unlimited class, um, even if you had the fastest time, but you did it on Tuesday, you still wouldn't be qualified for that pole position in the rest of the races for the rest of the week. So yesterday was the day that the big boys were trying to get that pole position spot. Today, um, you know, they can't, they actually cannot qualify every single plane that's going to race all week in one day. So um, other races, other sport class races, biplanes, I think biplanes might have qualified yesterday too. So that's what's going on here today is everybody's trying to get their qualifying time to get their position that they'll be starting in when the races actually start uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the big money purse race is on, or on, the purse races are on Sunday, so. You know, it's just like in any other race. Um, they're going around, they're making laps around, seven or eight laps depending. And it's a race for the best time, whoever finishes first. But also, what's awesome about you know airplanes is that they're moving in an extra dimension. So if you could imagine a Formula One race car race, um, you know the, the same basic principles and dynamics apply. Only that these guys are also um, moving around each other in the air. And, what I do in second place. And uh, so there's more C. In the far side of the track, you know, it's an eight-mile track, but the far side, the pylon that's all the way in the back back there is actually about two miles away. So I forgot my binoculars today, but I will not be forgetting them the rest of the week. Um, and it's a lot of fun to watch them. So yesterday and today were qualifying races. Um, and then, you know, there, there are actual races on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, but the uh, money purse is on Sunday. So it's kind of interesting what happens on those earlier races. Um, you know, you've got the pilots just kind of sizing each other up um, and figuring out the course and the environment and the conditions here at Stead this week. But um, it's only on Sunday that um, that there's money at the end for the winner. And so what you see is there, they're, you know, there's a lot of strategy involved. They're not necessarily flying as fast as they can or flying um, as, as close as they can because they're definitely not going to um, pull out their 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 fastest and their most strategic on those days they don't want to rent denting up an airplane and then not being able to fly on Sunday so the guys that you see behind me are, are, are just people who love airplanes and love to fly and love to test the limits and, and be on the leading edge and see what see what they can get away with which is kind of cool and uh, they've got a bunch of different classes here different kinds of airplanes which is super cool too so I'm hoping I'll get to show you some of those as well so uh, I'm gonna go back and watch the end of the race and uh, I'll see you guys here later